I am Julie B, president of Be Smart Social Media, and I'm super excited today because I get to have a phone call and a conversation with one of my favorite clients, probably one of my favorite clients ever that I've ever worked with. Kelly Davis is the founder and creator of Lusty Monk Mustard. Kelly, I just wanted to uh, thank you for being on this call today and uh, sharing your story with me. Sure. Hey, <laughs> Julie. All right. So tell me about Lusty Monk Mustard. Well, Lusty Monk is a tiny company based in Asheville, North Carolina, and we make really spicy mustard. We've, we've, we're, we keep it pretty simple. We've got it in like three flavors, and um, we've got four distributors right now, and we're mostly in the southeast. So we do a lot of retail sales to stores, um, a lot of specialty grocery stores, and we also sell quite a bit in gallons to restaurants. Okay. So, um, yeah. And your mustard is found in the refrigerated section, which, you know, maybe not is uh, typically the place you would look for mustard, but um, it's definitely worth getting it <laughs> and, and looking for it there. Yeah, we keep it refrigerated to keep it spicy because it's, it's, it's like a blow your head off mustard. So um, the cold yeah. case keeps it preserved. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, one thing that I love about your story is how you got started. And I would love for you to share uh, some <laughs> of that story here uh, on, this, uh, on this call. Okay. Um, well, I'm a history geek um, and I like really old cookbooks. I like those old cookbooks that start with like take 200 bushels of oysters, those kind of cookbooks. And so I was looking through an old Victorian cookbook once and I found a mustard recipe and I was thinking, oh, that's weird. Nobody really makes mustard at home anymore. And so I thought that was cool. So I started playing around in the kitchen with it. I tweaked the recipe some, uh, made it with apple cider vinegar because I thought that was more North Carolina. <laughs> and then yeah. I did a lot more. Yeah, yeah, apples. And um, I did a lot more research and I came up with my mustard recipe. And then I started giving it out as Christmas gifts and taking it to potlucks and it got good reviews. But at the same time, I was working as a bartender at a little brewery tasting room called Dirty Jack's. And the only thing we had to eat down there was pretzels. <laughs> so I started, I know, and they were the bad pretzels. <laughs> they were like those Not little pretzels. <laughs> Right. Yeah, and so I started handing out my mustard with the pretzels, mm -hmm. and it got kind of a cult following in the bar, and I, I used my little bar flies as, as tasting people, mm -hmm. so I would, like, test recipes on them and stuff, and so then I start, started selling it out of the bar, and then I got some formal training on food production. Mm -hmm. There's a place called Blue Ridge Food Ventures that trained me. I took some classes, and then my family came on board with some financial backing so I could get things like real labels. And that was in 2007. So we've been making mustard for about 13 years now as a formal business. Wow. And I bet your uh, bar patrons were probably like, finally, something to put on these awful pretzels, something that we can <laughs> eat them with. And, you know, one thing you told me. It that really was, did make a difference. And yeah. it was it was kind of self-serving because I was trying to get them to not leave and go find food. Yeah. And so, you know, if we make the mustard or the pretzels more appetizing, I could keep them around and sell them more beer. So. There you go. Awesome. Well, that's the that entrepreneurship uh, coming out in you for sure. So um, <laughs> now tell me a little bit. So one thing that, you know, we really like uh, to work with uh, clients that have some types of social missions. And I know that you have uh, at least one that is near and dear to your heart, um, maybe even a couple. So why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the social missions that you try to support when and where you can uh, through Lusty Monk Mustard. Um, well, I'm personally interested in river conservation, mm -hmm. and I've been trying to figure out a way for the mustard company to get more involved in that. I have, <laughs> I have a kind of bizarre love for the American eel, Mm -hmm. And um, uh, they're they're they they have a they have a, a plight actually right now they're they're endangered and so a lot of that depends on clean rivers and managing the dams and so right now we donate to several river conservation organizations and have a couple harebrained schemes 
<laughs> Sorry, I have a couple harebrained schemes to develop some sort of river centric product mm -hmm. that can support those efforts. Um, so I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I've got my eye, eye on getting more involved in rivers and especially eel rivers. Um, I'm also a devotee of the lifelong learning concept mm -hmm. and so we've got a standing agreement with our employees that if there's something they want to learn I'll do anything I can do to help them get education or training online courses or software and I think that also fits into the monk theme monks were frequently the ones who were the keepers of knowledge and I think they'd approve of that so uh, those are my two social missions and I think I think you're right on that they would approve of that I love that you have I just love that you have both of those going and you actually um, you've inspired me to start investing in um, education of my employees through online classes and things of that nature um, in terms of what they actually want to explore actually one of my employees it's it's very clear she's really good at graphic design and she's never had any formal education in it and so um, she's interested in that and we're going to invest in her to to get some uh, education around that so you have inspired me. And isn't that exciting? It's yes. so fun if you can help people get where they want to go. And and a lot of the jobs that, you know, especially in this business and food production or internet packing or things like that, you you know that the person working for you, that's not their dream. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they you know, they don't wanna they want they don't want to pack boxes for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. And I used to work for a, a training company long, long ago and they would always let us take all the classes we wanted for free and support us and you could put in a request to get outside training and that was really cool and I always wanted to just keep keep that going yeah excellent um, I just um yeah you're just it's such a good thing to do uh, in your business and for your for your employees so so let's talk a little bit um let's talk a little bit about how we work together uh, healthy smart and lusty monk works together so the the first question I want to ask you is kind of how and and when did you decide to uh, hire us as your social media marketing providers? Well, I met you. <laughs> I met you, Julie B. I mean, I, I've been knowing that one of the steps I needed to take to grow the business was to revamp my online presence. Mm -hmm. So for the last couple of years, I've been remodeling the website and then um, I attended and you attended the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses Program. And I was really, I knew I needed to do social media and I'm not good at it. And then I met you and I was really impressed with, well, for one thing, your sense of humor <laughs> and your media savvy. And you just, I just like the way you came across and your whole attitude towards social media. And I also like the fact that you're based here in North Carolina. So I basically begged you to take me on as a client. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't remember. I don't remember you begging me. I just you don't remember, remember the begging. I remember the begging. It was just like an org. It was an organic conversation. I probably wasn't. It was, <laughs> that was such a intense program that I probably didn't pick up on the cues. Maybe you were begging me, but I was like so heads nailed and doing the homework that I was missing that. So. <laughs> Anyway, it's just um, I'm I'm really glad we met. And I'm really glad I've gotten to uh, try your mustard and and, and eat the mustard because it's whoo man, it is good stuff. It's um, it's, yeah, it has <laughs> a space on our refrigerator shelf for sure. So, so uh, you know, so we decided to work together, and you know, we've been working together now for it's been about six months, I think. And yep. What yep. is your, you know, what has been your experience working with me? And I know you work really closely with our team as well. Just talk a little bit about the experience and maybe, um, you know, what you've gotten out of it so far, uh, as things along those lines. Well, the first couple months, it was a, kind of the ramp up and it was um, both of us learning how the other one worked. Mm -hmm. And you guys had to do a lot of research and, and figure out my company and how you were going to fit into it and um, me getting to know your team. But then you guys started doing the social media posts and contacting the influencers. And we got over a thousand new followers in a really short time. Mm -hmm. um, 
you also got me going on my first direct email campaign to my mailing list, <laughs> which I had never done before. Yeah. And that got a huge response. And we got, we've been busy, so busy for the last few months. It's totally blown the doors off. I printed some reports and it looks like we've done over four times the business this year compared to last year, wow. which is huge. I mean, my internet packing guy is so tired. <laughs> I know the funny story. Um, Kelly actually has said, "Hold on, we need to we need to wait on the next email campaign because we've just been we to figure out the capacity because my, I'm killing my my packing guy." So, um, yeah, but, um, and and yeah, and poor poor John. But um, yeah, I mean, and so it was it was kind of a panic. We didn't realize we were doing like a thousand dollars a day, which is way more than we ever have done uh, online, yeah. and it was really good. Yeah. But it was also you know, exhausting <laughs> to, to keep up with it. But it's good because of our, we're changing our systems to adapt to, we're getting used to more business gradually. <laughs> and I think, you know, I think you, you made a good point there. And, you know, it does take some time to get things started and ramped up. You came to us with an already amazing brand just to work with. But even then, you know, it does take, with a marketing company, it does take some time up front there to kind of get things ramped up. But if you stick with it, it will usually pay off. And I'm, you know, I'm glad that we um, kind of, you know, got through that initial part. And, you know, I just, I just look forward to helping you uh, to continue to grow uh, for sure. So, so I just have one. Well, you've got a, you've got a great, you've got a great team. I mean, yeah. you guys are funny and you're socially savvy. You handle the interactions. Well, um, I, I'm not, I, I'm really comfortable um, handing off things like my relationships to you mm -hmm. and you support the food community that I'm part of. And, um, I just, I, I just feel really comfortable with the way you've been handling it. I really like what you've done. Yeah. And we, you know, it takes, it takes a lot for somebody to, when you've curated a brand like you have, it, it takes a lot of, um, you know, courage to, to let somebody else kind of come into your world and, and, give them the time to learn your brand and then say, okay, I'm comfortable, go for it. So, you know, it's, yeah. Cause you're basically being me out there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we, we speak yeah. for our clients. Yeah. We don't, you know, we don't take that, uh, that responsibility lightly. We consider ourselves brand stewards. And so we, we, when we're out there engaging on behalf of our clients, we definitely think through that lens. So very, very serious about all of our clients' businesses. Um, so Kelly, I just have one other, I have one other question for you. Would you hire okay. again? And if, you know, if you wanted to just talk a little bit about whatever your answer is, I have a feeling it's yes, but, um, you know, maybe why you would, you know, why you're glad you made the decision to hire us to begin with. Yes, I would, I would definitely refer you to my friends. And I think hiring Be Smart is one of the best decisions I've ever made. And I'm, I'm not good at social media. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want to learn it. And you guys have just taken it beyond where I ever thought it could go. You're, you're perfect ambassadors for me and my company and my brand and the things that I hold dear. So I would absolutely I'm, I'm never letting you go. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, um, we and I would definitely refer you. Ha well, thank you. Thank you, sir. That means, um, you know, that means a lot because we do really, that's what we want to hear all of our clients say, but we really, um, that means a lot to me personally. And I know it will mean a lot to the team when I share it with them. And uh, we, we want you as a, as a client for as long as you'll have us. So, because we really love working on your brand. It's such a fun brand to work on. And you, you are a great client because you, you let us, um, you know, we're, we don't hesitate to throw ideas at you. You know, we know that if you don't like it, you'll tell us, but it'll, we'll know why. And it's just such a collaborative uh, way to work. And so you've just, you've been a great client. You've been a great social media client too. So we look well, thanks. It's been, it's been fun and I'm, I'm learning a lot. I, I don't know, still don't know how to work most of those buttons, but, um, uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, it's been fascinating to watch you guys build it and um, just see where you're going to take it. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm in thrall. So. Well, that's, well, that's great. I mean, yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned to that TV show. <laughs> so, well, Kelly, I, um, I think that that is, that's all the questions I had. And do you have anything um, else that you would like to say here as we wrap up this interview? Um, no, just keep doing what you're doing and, um, 
thank you. Thank you. Th thank you for letting me find you. <laughs> I think, I think there was a lot of uh, serendipity that happened at 10 KSB and our relationship, our relationship is certainly one of those things. That yeah, that. definitely. Was that was so. a huge plus for me. Yeah. All right. Well, um, thanks for being on here. And, uh, you know, if you guys need mustard, <laughs> look for Lusty Monk Mustard. If it's not in a local a retail store, you can buy it online, lustymonk.com.